Okay. So I think the first thing is really, you know, let's set the context a little bit for why, why Crown Commercial Service exists. Well, we are there really to provide the commercial expertise for the whole of the public sector. And the public sector spends about 230 billion a year on what we would call common goods and services. What I hope we'd all call common goods and services. And that's a massive challenge and a massive opportunity then to help public sector in general to drive savings, to drive better value, to drive a commercial, best commercial practice across that. And over the last year, uh, 13, 14, sorry, 14, 15, uh, the NAO uh, ERG have said that we, you know, best, better commercial practices save nearly £6 billion uh, pounds, um, uh, for, the, for the taxpayer, for the, for the public sector. Uh, that's not all Crown Commercial. We are responsible for about a billion of that one. A lot of it comes from better uh, project management on major projects through the MPA, a lot of it through IT uh, initiatives, etc. But over the, uh, over the last year, the public saved, uh, se sector saved £6 billion of that £230 billion or so they spent. So that's the context we're working, and what we're there is, we are there to try and drive better value across public sector spend. You can see the imperatives there, you know, saving money to support deficits, um, but the primary one there is saving money to protect frontline services. And our remit really is if we can stop spending less money on common goods and services, that's more money that we can put into uh, university lecturers or uh, tanks for the MOD or whatever, uh, yeah, uh, pensions it might be for DWP, etc. So our job is really to drive this value that will allow us to put money back into the public sector frontline services. But the Crown Commercial is more than that and tries to be different than that. And we are moving away from being a framework factory and being into looking at the whole life of contracts. So we are engaging up front more with the market. We're looking at driving the market, driving innovation. Less effort, less time on the procurement process, and more then not the back end on contract, contract management and making sure we do actually buy what we uh, get, what we said we've bought. So we're trying to spread that whole of that direct buying service across the whole of the procurement life cycle. 